Welcome back to 22 Fashion Engineers. I'm Elizabeth and today's video is about how to wear burgundy nail polish, which is essentially a video of me showing you my favorite burgundy nail polishes. If you watch my purple nail polish video and you sat through the whole thing, First of all, thank you. 20 minutes of talking about nail polishes um, is quite something. And if you sat through that, well, I thank you because you had patience and it means that you really like nail polish. I'm gonna make it up to you with this video. It's going to be very, very short. I have a very small section of burgundy nail polish. I only have six to show you today. Uh, but I wanted to show you specifically burgundy colors, not necessarily, uh, you know, fuchsias, not purples, not something that's very much dark reds in the dark red family of course they veer off towards the warmer side or the cooler side but i wanted a very pure burgundy um, selection for you today uh, i'm going to start with zoya uh, this is zoya let's see zoya sarah there we go and as you can see this is a foiled polish it looks a little bit lighter on camera because the um, lighting is very bright today this is natural daylight uh, but it is a dark um, dark red and you see it has flecks in there I would say that it has some gold it has some red it has some pink and this is what it looks like in a swatch um, so this is what you can expect on your nail this is three coats plus a session V um, top coat just so you see how shiny it can be it's very multi-dimensional um i'm not always um thrilled with foiled nail polishes for some reason but this is a very nice uh nail polish from Zo nail polish from zoya and if you're looking for something that's a little bit different that has a little bit of extra something you know that uh, i don't know what it is but i need to look at it nail polish this is it specifically because of all these extra little uh sparkles in it the next two nail polishes are True Burgundies and they're cream colored. They're from the drugstore and they're from Revlon. This one is called, what is it called? Valentine. There we go. And this is a True Burgundy. I would say out of all the nail polishes that I have, look how gorgeous that is. It's very creamy. It has... Um, it has a gel-like quality to it, but it's not a jelly. This, again, is uh, three coats. I like three coats on all my nail polishes, uh, just to give them the richest possible saturation. Um, I have to be honest with you, this is a very, very dupable color. There are tons of colors that are exactly like this at the drugstore, not to mention high-end. And I actually have some pictures of... Um, nail polishes and dupes and things like that and I think I'm going to post those on my blog yes I have a blog believe it or not um, I have to remind myself that too I mainly post my videos there but I'm going to start um, posting you know as far as uh, dupes go as far as articles uh, you know fashion things um, so yeah I'll link that down below in case you don't know you can go check it out and I really want to um, to start doing the nail polish dupes because I have a couple pictures that um, I think would be very good for you guys to see compare and contrast. This one is definitely dupable. I just like this uh, formulation from Revlon. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, so that's why I decided to go with it. But Sally Hansen has things like this, L'Oreal, and so on and so forth. Now, another cream finish also from Revlon. This is darker and this is, oh my god, look at this. This is like a black cherry color. This is in the color, what is this, Vixen. I'm reading things backwards. And again, this is a cream finish, three coats. This is what I would say the quintessential burgundy color is. Um, it's not too dark, it's not too vampy, it's not a black type of um, nail polish. Um, it's a dark, dark red, and I can totally see this, um, you know, more towards the end of September, October. This is probably going to get a lot of use. This is one of my newer nail polishes. I'm very glad I picked it up. Again, lots of dupes for this one as well. So um, I'm going to post that in my blog so you guys can go check it out and see what other options there are. From China Glaze, I have um, Heart of Africa. And look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful burgundy uh, with, I would say, uh, more than a satin finish, more like a metallic quality to it. But once you put a clear top coat to it, it just comes alive like nothing else. It's just so deep and dark and rich and oh my god this is one of my most favorite um, burgundy nail polishes of all time i wear this if i 
only think of one burgundy nail polish that I'm going to wear for the fall. This is it, Heart of Africa by China Glaze. The formula is, is uh, fairly good. I wouldn't say it's the best formula ever, uh, but once you put a uh, top coat on it, it wears very well. And it's pretty saturated, so again, two coats is good. I do three. Um, highly recommended, one of my favorite burgundy nail polishes. And also from China Glaze, I have a nail polish that feels a little bit cool. Um, this almost looks like, on camera, it looks almost purple. Uh, this is called Cowgirl Up. And look how multi-dimensional this is. Um, this doesn't have any iridescence or sparkles, it's just slightly metallic. It has a top coat on it. I'm trying to show you the, the color here without any writing. But it's just a very, very good color. Um, anybody with a cool undertone is going to look um, amazing with this on because um, these like bluer tones in this burgundy are going to pick up on the cool tones of your skin. You're gonna, it's gonna look like it's made for you. Um, I have very warm undertones and I really, really like this. I can wear it. So I think it's a pretty universally flattering color. Um, and the last one that I have, the last nail polish that I have, of course, I had to sneak in a sinful colors in here. Um, and again, this is more um, towards fuchsia. It's not that light in real life. I know the camera is uh, making it look almost like a fuchsia bordering on hot pink. Oh, <laughs> um, I saved that one. And this is called Steal My Heart. Let's see, can you see it? Um, and this again is a very smooth, um, almost metallic but it's not really metallic i don't know how to describe it but there are no sparkles i don't have any glitter nail polishes in this um, section i don't have anything um other than the basics here for me burgundy um doesn't get that much wear i think i have my moments when i wear it but it's very much contained to the fall months um i do have a lot of dark polishes and i've definitely started uh wearing and incorporating them more and more um as the weather changes and i was thinking that maybe i would do a vampy color series where i include not only um you know like red tones but also like you know dark greens and dark blues and navies and all the dark colors for fall so let me know if you would like a video with that because i have tons of choices that are really really good and i was thinking maybe to make it like a mini series uh, maybe like a set of videos and do a lipstick version of that as well um like vampy lip colors so if that's something that you're interested in please let me know in the comments down below all the information as far as uh the nail polishes that i showed you today is written in the information information bar down below in order so just in case you missed something um, everything is there there's links to the other fall color series uh, videos there and there's going to be a link to my blog um, yeah I have a blog I have to remember that uh, it's been a little bit neglected I have been focusing on my YouTube channel mostly and um, I think I'm going to focus on my blog as well because I do like um, writing and I um, have a lot of article ideas and a lot of um, thoughts that I can't always express in videos sometimes I have to show you pictures and commentary and uh, you know uh, talking about uh, designer collections and fashion and things of that nature let me know what you would like to see and uh, let me know your thoughts about uh, the polishes that you saw today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, come back. I have many more videos coming up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.